In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a user-defined pattern to the blue cube. So what I've done is I've, uh, I've grabbed a pattern that I previously created, the sweep pattern, here's the header and class file for it, from the cube for sketches repository that I've published. So what we're going to do is we'll add those in. So we'll start by finding the blue cube sketch directory and we'll copy these files into that directory. Once they're there, we'll load the sketch in the Arduino IDE. So what we'll just do is we'll have a look. We can see them there. And if I go to the, the header file and scroll down a little, you'll notice the constructor needs the cube and a delay, and the update function requires a color. So now we'll go and add those into our blue cube sketch. So we'll go back to blue cube, and we'll go and make the changes. So as I scroll down, we should probably add a comment in here, but I'm going to skip that for this demonstration. So the pattern defines, so let's add one for the sketch delay, uh, the sweep delay. So define sweep delay. And I happen to know 100 milliseconds works quite well for that. We've got to make sure that the header is also included. So we'll add that along with the rest of them. Include sweep.h. And we also need to make sure we have the, we instantiate the class. So we'll just here, so the sweep class cube. And this is where we use that delay that we previously set. Now, the easiest way to do the rest of it is actually to start from the bottom and work our way up. So we'll go down to the bottom, and this is the user function handler. Now, this step is again optional, but I find it to be quite useful. So what I suggest we do is we copy an existing one, and we just paste it in. Now, we've got to give it a unique number, so we'll just give it the next number, and we'll change the text to say it's the sweep animation. Now, the important thing is that we also need to add that into the loop function and under the is user mode section. So we'll do the exact same thing we did previously. We'll copy the existing one and we'll change the number to four. That has to match what we previously did. And we will call the sweep update feature. And with that, we can verify that we've added everything into the uh, sketch correctly, can ignore any warnings, and it should tell us that we've done compiling. And then you upload it to the cube. And from here, you need to then go and add the uh, details about this user-defined pattern, remembering that it's number four, into the mobile app. So let's switch over to that now and do those tasks. Start the Blue Cube application, and when it loads, click Connect so you can connect to your cube. Now this will just take a moment. Once it's actually connected, we want to scroll to the bottom of the menu and select User Defined Patterns, and then click the green plus. Now we need to enter a name, so we'll go Blue Sweep in this example. And then you need to enter a number. Now the number is the same number you used in the sketch, so four in this case. We'll toggle on that we require a colour, and we'll pick a nice little blue colour. Here, that's good. And then we'll go Save User Defined Pattern. And now if you tap on that, you'll see the pattern starts working on your cube. You can add the same pattern in multiple times. So here we are, we're adding it again. We'll call it uh, green sweep this time. Again, number four, turn the color on, and we'll pick a uh, green color that we like. About there will do. And we can save that. And if you then tap on green sweep, you'll see that the cube starts to run that. And you can toggle between the various patterns, as you would expect. And that's how you define a user-defined pattern, add it to the sketch, and add it to the app. 